Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. I think I'm almost 99.5% finished with my 2x72 inch angle grinder. And here it is in its whole glory. I just uh, drilled those two holes to put the table on here or rest and uh, I got the two horsepower three-phase motor unfortunately it's blue the first one I bought was uh, silver which would have um, fit nicer here uh, I thought of painting it but I'm probably just gonna leave it here is my drive wheel and here is the wheel that I turned down on my CNC lathe to be able to adjust the belt. And this is how I did the adjustment with a uh, hinge and a screw underneath it that goes through a bracket. Really simple. Um, my goal was to build this without having to weld. Obviously this is all aluminum extrusions. And this is how it looks like. This is my die handle. I will make another one here without that bump here. So it will be smooth. I mean not smooth like that but uh, you know what I mean. So this is just temporarily. This is my VFD. I put a big knob on there for the speed control and obviously I hit the wires they go through the aluminum profile and come down on the bottom this is the motor this is the 220 and uh, I think it came out pretty nice these are for adjustments for the table for the rest and I can adjust um, I can adjust it from here as well or just through here with um, I have here like five six seven centimeters of adjustment which is plenty and uh, when I built this uh, I had some belts the ones in the back that I bought from Aliexpress and uh, I thought they are 2 by 72 and then I ordered two more belts here locally because I wasn't sure about the quality of those because the seams are pretty rough here oops I'm sorry I'm looking at the belt and uh, look at this it turns out those are not 2000 millimeter belts but 100, uh, 1800 so 20 centimeter shorter but luckily I could easily adjust it so this is I don't know what what 10, 10, 20, 10, it's like 2 by 64 inch belt so I could run those as well or the regular 2 by 72 and I will probably use those up and then uh, use only the 2 by 72 inch um, belts so anyway, long story short, let me fire it up. Pretty loud indoors. This wheel, the drive wheel, I'm gonna replace because it has, uh, it's not running around. And that's what the uh, noise you're hearing. So I will buy aluminum one, which is slightly smaller. You can see the belt is sticking out here a little bit. The problem is I did uh, enlarge the hole on my mill, uh, on my CNC lathe, and then filed down the keyway. And it was a little bit tight. And then I press fit it on here, which uh, this side is 
higher now. That's why it makes that noise. And unfortunately, I cannot get it off. I tried everything. I cannot get it off. So once the aluminum wheel drive wheel arrives, I will cut this thing and get it off and then use that aluminum wheel. And then the belt will be... This is also only 45 millimeters wide and this is 50 millimeters to inch. So no matter what, the belt would stick out a little bit. And it has also a curve on it, which for the drive wheel, it's not necessary, I think. So at least not this much. Uh, I might turn it down a little bit and try it that way for the time being. But um, yeah, I did of course had to dress it up a little bit. I did all the end caps. Those are, couldn't get them here. Those are on the way. I almost used <laughs> carbon fiber, which would look nice too, but I don't want to glue those on here and so the regular caps will be fine. And I did order also locally some steel for a knife, it's a knife plank. And uh, I don't have it in my head now, but these are the um, dimensions. And this costs roughly $5 here. I think it's pretty cheap. I, of course, also have some old files that I eventually want to turn into a knife because this is, this is uh, not cutting anything anymore. And all this started. With these mad eyelids for my car and uh, this is two millimeters and it's pretty tough so that's why I built the grinder I always wanted to build the grinder because I had the belts the skateboard wheels and a VFT no more so the rest I did buy I did reduce or change out the absorber the gas the gas shock with a 60 newton because the 80 i had 120 before and then i went down to 80 and then i found the 60 newton and i think the belt is now tell me i don't know exactly how um how how you call it how stiff or how much <coughs> tension tension needs to be on here but it's pretty pretty much tensioned and I also of course need to make the platen. I will cut these in three pieces use them as a um, L bracket and then screw the platen on there once I find a suitable metal for it and anyway this is the I think fourth part or third and I will take this outside because I can obviously not grind inside here I did a little bit and uh, makes a lot of mess and this is carpet dirty carpet but still carpet and it's hard to get stuff out of it anyway I will take this outside and do some grinding and show you how it works basically like any other gelt grinder only that this one is screwed together you can disassemble it if you need to uh, move it or whatever and uh, this is also for now on this plate on this uh, kitchen sink uh, what you call it countertop countertop and um, I will make a suitable um, table for it I had these long legs there uh, it was nice while building it because I had it eye level but those are obviously too long and I will get something shorter I will make the plants available once uh, I get the time to measure everything again and probably make a cat file and um, yeah this table was actually uh, not table rest hold on the belts are sticking to my behind um i was gonna mount it here but then i would have even less on this side so that's why i mounted it like that with 
L brackets and these I I did um, grind down because normally they have like uh, where is one here you go they have these uh, knobs sticking out that normally go hold into the profile like that so they're a little bit uh, they move less like that and I grind those down and uh, I love it I love this machine it's just gonna be a pain to carry out all the time but uh, at least I have it and once I have uh, get my own garage or workspace or whatever I can mount my CNC lathe and uh, the other machines I have um, put them up there and then work easier but this was a long time dream about three four years maybe even longer and I finally have it and here also I will put end caps on here on here everywhere you see open spaces like I did here I did here because it was bigger I did make this with carbon fiber and but here I can just put end caps on here that's why it's also sticking out a little bit here the table because with the end cap it will be flush so anyway this is it and the next part will be me grinding stuff these things outside so take care everybody i wish you a great week and uh, if you want to help me with my channel please do like the video maybe subscribe and hit the notification bell you can also buy something from my tinder store and uh, buy me maybe coffee via paypal or the thanks button underneath the video or you might even become a patreon even if it's for a dollar so thanks anyway and take care everybody